I will tell you five words and then ask you to reproduce them. This is one of the exercises to train memory and speech, one of the elements of clinical linguistics. Classes for the rehabilitation of speech don't exist in every clinic in Russia. This is one of the rarest of medical procedures. In European countries, there are a lot of specialists working with speech disorders. Clinical linguists, uh, speech uh, therapists, they are working in one team and uh, it is very usual. In our country, it is unusual. Uh, when we came to this clinic, uh, the doctors, neurologists were surprised. Uh, they asked, what will you do here? You are a linguist. Now in the world it is proved that linguists should be included in a doctor's team, because speech experts not only help to restore the people's communication, sometimes only because of the stories of patients, doctor can diagnose a number of diseases. This is illnesses which even modern methods can't identify. In neuroscience there is a group of disease or conditions which may not be treated as the disease at present. Their diagnosis is based on verbal contact with the patient. There is no instrumental methods of beam diagnostics, laboratory diagnostics, which allow to confirm or deny the presence of this condition. This is pain, depression, anxiety and other mood disorders. This is memory disorders that unfortunately tend to grow both around the world and in the Russia. And the development of questionnaires help doctors to diagnose the patient conditions more accurately. This joint project of linguists and doctors must help patients to describe their authentic condition and doctors to put an accurate diagnosis. The second aspect of our project is to give practitioners, neurologists, internists, general practitioners a reliable, proven questionnaire through which, in a short time, at outpatient clinic at the hospital, they can diagnose those or other conditions they cannot be touched, but nevertheless, they are very serious and can complicate the treatment of any disease, microcardial infraction, stroke and many other conditions. Now linguists are actively involved in the rehabilitation of patients in RCH2. They help to restore speech to rebuild lost communication too. Here not only neurologists, speech therapists, but neurolinguists began to work. Because the problem covers phonetics, grammar and pronunciation of sounds. These disorders cover very large range and speech is the main function of communication. Patients need our help, they uh, want to speak, they want to communicate, they want uh, everybody else to understand them. That's why they um, try to help us, to help them, to, um, to teach them to speak and to, to live happily, maybe so.